What's up, Cancer? It's Jesse with 44 Astro with a mini bonus reading for the energies leading up to this super blue moon, full moon coming on August 30th. Um, this is a very rare moon as it will be a super moon, which means it's going to be 14% 14 bigger in the sky because it is, these are you, these are your cards already, because it's going to be in what you call perigee compared to apogee. Perigee is when it's as close to the earth as it, it pretty much gets. Apogee is when it's as far as it gets because it's in elliptical orbit, so sometimes it'll be closer, sometimes it'll be further away. So it's going to be as close to the Earth as it can get with this super moon. It's going to look 14% bigger in the sky. It's a blue moon because, you know, like they say, once in every blue moon, it means basically it happens two full moons in a month. It happens every 2.7 years. Um, so, yeah, you get a double rarity on this moon. It's super rare. It's also going to be conjunct Saturn, and Saturn will be as close to the Earth as he normally gets, as he can pretty much get. So we're looking at a very powerful conjunction that's very close to us. So we will feel that restrictive energy in our inner world. And it will be also at the same time opposite the sun. The Saturn will be so. And the conjunction will be. So the earth will be right in between that conjunction and the sun for a little while. So we're really going to, our inner world and our outer world is going to be tested and balanced. Ooh, right there. So we're going to kind of see what's going on. So for you, your overall energy was have faith in your dreams. So you may be dreaming about something, trying to build something. It says waxing crescent moon. I mean, you have the sun and you have the universe with the queen of wands. So the universe is the world in this deck. Okay, It says the great one night of time on the bottom. And then the sun is called the lord of the fire of the world. And then the queen of wands is queen of the thrones of the flame. Let me show you here. If I can get a zoom in. You can see a big symbol for Saturn on the world, but there's more than that there. You can see Taurus and Leo. It's a little bit of everything, right? You're going to see solar disks. You're going to see moons. I mean, it's, it's massive completion. The sun, of course, is a very bright and positive card. As you can see, very good card. And the queen of the thrones. So it's going to be uh, queen of the thrones of the flame, queen of wands. Could have something to do with a fire sign. You could be cusping, um, Cancer Leo cusp. It shows the symbol of Pisces, Pisces, um, Aries, Aries in this card. So it could be, it's a mixture of those signs. Um, so like an individual that is those three signs, Pisces, Aries, Aries, or maybe you have some kind of uh, mixture with Pisces in your chart or Aries for that matter because it is a fire card. Double Aries there. Looks like something's coming to a completion. It's like having faith in your dreams, like your dreams coming true type of thing. Um, but I would suggest because the energies are going to be so challenging, it's going to want to kind of throw you off of your vision. So have, have just have faith in your dreams. And, and keep going. It looks like it's going to be lighter for you than it's going to be for a lot of the other signs. That's a good sign. Um, this, of course, isn't the main full moon reading, but this is just kind of the energy that's going to be leading up to it. So the energy is for you leading up to this really powerful, powerful astrological transit that's coming. It looks it looks smooth for you. It looks like, you know, the way you're presenting yourself to the world, it's all positive and good. You know, this could be you, the Queen of Wands, for sure. You could be a fiery individual. You have fire in your chart. It could be Cusp, Leo. It looks like something's coming to completion. Or like the world is yours. It could be travel too. Some kind of travel that you're about to do. But saying have faith in your dreams. It looks like whatever your dreams are, they're coming true. Even even with this, this challenging energy we're going to be dealing with. And make no mistake, we're going to feel it very, very, very soon. Um, if you don't know how to look at it, so if you are, uh, I, I can only pick the house if you're a Cancer Ascendant that it'll be affecting. So for you, it would be the eighth house. And that's the house of the occult. That's the house of sex. That's the house of secrets. That's the house of investigation. It's the house of inheritances. So, you know, it could be it could be affecting. I mean, it looks like everything's coming to light. So if there is any kind of like occult secrets or anything or occult, it's all you know. You're moving forward. If like let's say you're you know you're in the mystery schools, it looks like you're moving forward nicely. If if it's if it's sexual energy, it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be. It's going to be healthy and it won't be promiscuous and, and scary or, or, you know, any, uh, any detriment coming to you through it. And Scorpio is a very intense house. So you're, it, it, if, it, if it does affect, it's going to affect those, those areas. So it definitely may affect your sex life, it, like the Saturn energy, trying to be restrictive around it. If you are a Cancer Ascendant only. Because without knowing your ascendant, you don't know what your houses are. Other than that, it's just the energies I explained before with the balancing out of the inner self with the outer self and how you express that into the world. And Saturn being very restrictive on that because that's what he does. 
we won't we won't fill it for very long but when we fill it we're going to fill it especially with them being as close to the earth as they get but for you looks like it's all good cancer looks like the flow is going well looks like you are in the spotlight if that's what your dream is to be in the spotlight as far as like if you're trying to be discovered or be famous in any way whether it be on social media whatever um looks like it's all good looks like you're gonna get what you want you're gonna be just you're gonna you know you're gonna be in the spotlight in some way stuff's gonna be revolving around you and it's, you're gonna have the whole world right so cancer that's all i have this is just a mini reading uh, we'll do the big reading next week uh, please consider liking subscribing and commenting um and hope to see you here again thanks for being here